Alexis thought she led a typically dysfunctional high school existence. Dysfunctional like her parents' marriage, her doll-crazy 13-year-old sister Casey, and even her own anti-social, anti-cheerleader attitude. When a family argument results in a tearful, sisterly bonding, Alexis realizes that her life is creeping from dysfunctional to dangerous. Casey is acting stranger than ever. Her blue eyes go green, she uses odd, old-fashioned language, and she even loses track of chunks of time, claiming to know nothing about her weird behavior. Their old house is changing, too. Doors open and close by themselves, water boils on the unlit stove, and an unplugged air conditioner turns the house cold enough for the girls to see their breath. Alexis wants to believe it's all in her head, until these seemingly harmless occurrences become life-threatening to her, to her family, and to her budding relationship with the student council vice president. Alexis knows she's the only person who can stop Casey, but what if the green-eyed girl isn't even Casey anymore? Hi guys, this is Jessica with Chapter Chicks. I have another book review for you today, but again, just let me say if I'm really hard to understand, I'm still really sick and really congested. And I just realized today that I haven't been running as much as I used to because I got my tooth pulled and I didn't want cold air to get in it and today I'm sick so I'm not going to go run and I'm getting fat. So I'm sad. But I'm going to be doing a review today over Bad Girls Don't Die by Kate Ellander. And this book was really, really good. Um, it got a B which is an A, or no, a B is an A. It got a B, which is four stars, so that's a really good rating. It was published on April 21st of 2009, and it was published by Hyperion, which I think is the Disney Hyperion, and it is the first book in the Bad Girls Don't Die series, and there are 352 pages. So yeah. Um, first, I just want to say that this cover is so beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite covers, and I'm really glad that I got the hardback edition because it's so tiny and cute and petite. Like, look how little that is. I definitely 100% prefer these little petite paperback or hardbacks to the paperbacks because they're just so cute and little. And uh, the one thing, though, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. There. My favorite cover, my all time favorite cover. And I got a pen mark in it when it was in my purse. How bummy is that? But it's a really good book. It it is a one of a kind book. I haven't read anything about this kind of thing before. Um, I don't want to say too much about what it's about because what it is about is kind of like the mystery of it and it doesn't tell you right off what's going on and I don't want to ruin it because the mystery is half of what made it so good but it's really really good to read it's been I've been wanting, wondering when a book like this was going to be coming out and I didn't know that it had been sitting under my nose the entire time and I'm really glad I finally picked this up I uh, was kind of nervous, I was kind of like wary to pick this book up because the cover's so pretty and I didn't want it to just be a pretty cover I wanted it to be a good book too I was kind of like worried that it was going to ruin it and then I was going to be in love with this cover that wasn't backed up by a good book, but it actually was backed up by a good book. Kate Elander did a great job on this book and I'm really glad I got I actually like picked it up and read it. It is out in paperback now, but like I said, I do recommend the hardback. I really, really enjoyed the characters. I really liked Alexis, the main character. She, um, she kind of reminded me of myself a little bit. Like, she's really like out of place but doesn't really care and not that I'm out of place but you know out of ordinary like and she's really like um like environmentally conscious like she's always off on some save the environment kind of bin binge and I was like that and I still am kind of like that like I am constantly checking do something dot org for all kinds of new ideas recycling way to save energy stuff like that and I really like that there was a main character who was into all that green stuff also and I loved Megan and Carter too, and they were both really real characters to me, which is awesome. But yeah, there's not really much I can say without giving away the entire plot of this book. Just know that it is a lot. It's something that you would expect, but it's not like something that I've seen yet. So it's really good. Um, definitely check it out, basically, is what it all boils down to. 
Check it out, see if it's for you. Beautiful cover. Beautiful writing, it's just good. So yeah, I am Jessica with Chapter Chicks. This is my review over Bad Girls Don't Die by Kate Alander. And this chapter was for you. Thanks, guys.